welcome again to this exciting course in this course now i'm going to talk about some statements and in that statements first i'm going to talk about the selection statements there are multiple types in this selection statement but first i'm going to start with this if condition let's understand what is this if condition in every program or in any situation you have to make couple of decisions and based on that decision you want to apply something for example if you want to travel at a particular place then first you have to make a decision whether you want to use a train or you want to use a bus or you want to use a flight so this particular part is called as a decision and in the same way we also have to make couple of decisions in our program for example if i talk about some data let's say i'm talking about the employee data and if the employee is permanent then i want to give them bonus if they are not permanent or on contract then i want to give them some other percentage for example 10% or 12% basically these are some different things and i want to make a decision based on some condition or some data to perform that kind of operation in c sharp programming language we have if condition let's understand how this if condition works to use the if condition there is a reserve keyword in c sharp programming language and this is if if you want to use this if then you have to provide a bracket over here and then you have to write a condition at this place what is the condition you can write any condition over here but ultimately the output of that condition must be a boolean value it could be either true or it could be either false if it is returning anything else other than the boolean value then it will simply not work okay so we have to write the condition over here very carefully now let's try with some examples for example here i'm having this boolean value and let's say it is a and in this a i'm having this true value okay now inside the parenthesis of this if block here i'm writing this a it means how it will work we are having this if and in the bracket we are having this a now in the next line if i'm writing some statements for example it is console dot write line this is how we can use the if condition in the c sharp programming language now let's run this application and see what is the output on the console window here you can notice we are getting the output from both these lines we are getting this hello from if and we are having this output which is hello world so there is some interesting concept over here because we are not using any kind of parenthesis nothing like that for example if i'm having the false value over here and let's run this application we are having only one output which is coming from this particular line it means if the value is false then this part is not getting executed or it is not working so here is the very important logic if you want to execute only one single line after the if condition then there is no need to provide the body of this if condition right because there is only one single line you can also write it in the same line like this and this will work right if the value is false because it is false so it will not work this time if it is true this condition then this will work for example here i'm writing this like this then this time the output of this if condition is going to be true because the value of a is false and if you are using that note symbol over here it means this note will convert this false value to the true so ultimately we will get true output over here and basically if it is true then this line will work but if you want to execute or run more than one line for this if condition then you have to use the curly braces over here how like this and you can simply put it over here so this curly braces is a kind of area that will be executed if this condition is true and over here you can write multiple lines so let's just write it multiple times here i'm writing two and let's run it this time you can notice we are getting both the lines and again over here you can write any kind of expression and you can use any operator that we have covered in the previous video right the only concept is that you have to use this if keyword after this if keyword you have to use parenthesis and in that parenthesis you have to write a condition remember the output of that condition must be a boolean value here you can also call the methods you can also get the data from database or you can also write any kind of expression that you want to use you can create several programs over here for example let's say here i'm having this where let's say it is date and i want to find out the current date this is something that you can use to find out the current date date time dot now so from this date if you want to find out day year you can use day dot let's say it is day if the day is less than 7 then we are in the first week of this month 
so basically here you can display the message that you are in the first week or whatever logic you want to apply you can write that condition over here and this program will simply work if i talk about the formatting of this if condition then in some other programming languages you will also see that we will have the body like this if i talk about javascript or typescript then they will format this if condition like this so basically they will start the body from the same line of this parenthesis where we have written this condition and they will end it like this but in the Caesar programming language we format it like this and it is always recommended to use these curly braces even if you are having only one single line in the body of this if condition but what if this condition is not true what will happen in that case so for example if I'm having a situation where I need to make a decision whether if the condition is true then I need to execute these couple of lines if the condition is not true then also I want to execute couple of more lines what will happen in that case in that case we can have the else over here so for example if the day is not less than 7 what will happen in that case right in that case we can use this else condition so what is the logic behind this over here in the else you do not have to write any kind of condition and this else will work only with the if block so for example if i'm commenting this if line this if block like this then you will notice we are getting an error right else cannot start a statement we cannot start the statement by the else keyword we must have the if before using this else okay we can use this if condition standalone but this else will work only with the if condition so what is the logic behind this the logic is that if this condition is true then this part will work otherwise this part will work now just for the testing purpose let's write these messages over here you can have only one single line or more than one line and the same concept goes here as well if you are having only one line then it is not always mandatory to use these curly braces although it is always a good practice to use them but let's start with that so like this so basically if you are having only one single statement then there is no need to use those curly braces and here let's update the message let's say it is else okay let's run this application and see what is the output you can see we are getting the message hello from else why we are getting this message so basically it is working like the date we are finding the date and the current date is this 15 so the day is 15 as per the indian standard format we use date month and the year so basically the day is 15 which is not less than 7 the condition is false it means we are having this particular part over here right but if you are having more than one line then you can always use the body over here and you can put any number of line or any number of code over here the main concept is that from these two blocks only one block will run based on this condition so this is the main use of the else block